Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thanks so much for stopping by. My name is Courtney. Today I have got what I finally decided to call a fun and functional wall decor item. I had the hardest time trying to name this project because it's something that you can use year round and change out with holidays and seasons. So if you wanna get straight to the tutorial, here is your timestamp. For the rest of you, as promised, I will show you what my farm table looks like. Those of you who are new and may not know about my farm table, um, it is 16 feet long, five feet wide, and my husband and I built it. Um, I have been struggling, well, I would say struggling. It takes me on average about two to three years to get it decorated how I want it for the seasons. The Christmas one is finally nailed down. Those of you who've been with me since the fall kind of saw the new pumpkin boxes that I added, but I'm still working on it. Valentine's, I'm still working on. Spring, I'm still working on. So I will show you what it looks like at this point. Um, I do not feel like it's finished, but I'll kind of show you what it looks like and um, yeah, walk you through it. So let me flip the camera around and I will show you guys what my table looks like and then get into the tutorial. Let's go. Okay, so here is my farm table. Uh, this is what I've got going on. So I have a burlap runner. And then this is just a navy and cream colored runner that I've had for a couple years from Hobby Lobby. Um, I've had these Kirkland's lanterns for quite a while. This is what I added this year. Um, it's a little mini tobacco basket that I got at Walmart for $2.99, I think. And then I had a bunch of those fabric carrots that I got from Target last year that I threw in there. And then I made a little moss bunny head this year to put on top of it. And then these arrangements I've had for a while. I got that at Kirkland's. That was a wedding gift. And then the rest is just a repeat down the table. And that's what I've got. Like I said, it's I, I need some different candlesticks. I'm not quite finished with it, but this is what it looks like for this year. So basically what I do is then at the end of the season, like when they're putting all the spring stuff on sale, Easter stuff on sale, I'll go shop it for next year to add to my table. So that's kind of how I do it for each holiday. So that's why it takes me so long because I want to get everything at a bargain price. So there you go, guys. That's what it looks like for those of you asking. All right, now let's get into the tutorial. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is some type of banner. I picked up this one that said home from Target. It was basically comprised of four little shiplap looking tiles and then this brown suede hanging rope um, type stuff. And so I'm basically just gonna take it apart and use these four from this pack and then the other pack I already broke down and I'll need one of those tiles. If you can't find this one, I mean really any type of hanging banner, pennant, garland, whatever you can find will work or from Dollar Tree, their little hanging signs that they have that you can break down, you could use those. So you can really find any kind of sturdy banner. So once I'm done with this, I will get ready to paint it. All right, so I'm gonna be using my linen white chalked paint and I'm going to end up putting one full coat on the top and the sides. I'm not gonna worry about the back. And then I will end up putting actually three more coats on top. Now you certainly could um, sand this if you wanted to, to just get this, cause I kind of scratch at the paint and it, it'll come off. I just didn't want to sand it. So I didn't mind painting it cause I was watching a movie and I was just sitting there mindlessly painting. So I will paint the sides, like I said, just with one coat and then the tops of each tile will get a total of four coats of paint. While my shiplap tiles are drying, I'm gonna work on my little holiday themed portion of this functional board. Like I said, I still don't really know what to call it. So two of the tiles are going to be where I can just interchange for different holidays. So I'm taking two of these little bunnies from that pack that I got from Dollar Tree. Again, with the Aline's glue, using my finger to spread it. Um, and then I'm gonna put the fabric down on top. And then once I've done that, I will trim around it. And then again, while it's drying, I will go ahead and put something heavy on it so it doesn't curl up. Um, actually, once I like kind of smush this down, you can, I don't know if the camera's not really picking it up, but the feet on the bottom were kind of already curling up. So um, just go ahead and make sure you flatten it out to let it dry all the way. All right, 
while the bunnies are drying, I'm gonna work on the bead element. So these are 14 millimeter beads that I purchased from Amazon. And I just threaded some through this white string. And this is what's gonna be at the very top of my top tile that's gonna be the hanger. And then to connect my boards together, I'm gonna be using these. These are 12 millimeter beads, and I'm gonna be using four between each board. And I'll just thread them through the holes. So basically all I did was thread a whole bunch of beads onto a string, and I'm just cutting them in sections of four. Sorry, it's a little off shot here. Um, so that when I go, I can just individually put each one on to make it easier. So I'm just gonna go through and kind of cut a little bit of length along with the four beads and then I'll be ready to start putting it together. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and thread my top hanger through the top tile. So basically, I'm just going to make a loop with some of the string, stick it through from the front to the back of the tile, and then I'm gonna pull the bead string back through the loop. So I'll just take it like this, thread it through like that, and then basically you get that little, um, like this, ta-da, <laughs> I don't know what to call it. And then the little extra tail I thread through there as well. So that's how I got it on there for that side. And then for the other side, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I can't thread that, the string of beads back through it. So I basically just kind of rigged it up and um, yeah, I'll just let you watch because I don't know how to explain it. So just watch and learn. <laughs> Okay, and now for the smaller beads, you're gonna take one of your little sections of four beads and working from the back to the front, again, make a loop, thread your beads through the loop and then pull it. And then all you're gonna have to do is that little extra tail that's right there, you're just gonna secure it on the back, but there you go, the front looks like that. And you're gonna do that to all of the tiles. And to secure these, all I'm doing is just putting a little bit of hot glue on the back of the tile. And then I'm just taking that tail, kind of smashing it into the glue and then trimming off the extra tail and that's it. That's all that has to be done to secure this. Now we're ready to secure the tiles to each other. So to do that, basically you wanna kind of um, flip them over because I found that this was the easiest way to do it. And all I'm doing is kind of lining up my tiles and then just making sure my beads are tight and pushed up against the tile on top of it. And then I'm just putting a string of hot glue and then smashing the string down onto the hot glue and trimming off the extra string. And that's it, that's how I attach them together. So now I'm gonna take one of these little clothespins that I got from a pack from Dollar Tree. And I just wanted to show you, here's another size you could possibly use if you wanted to. I just felt like it was a little too big, but here's a side-by-side -side comparison in case you're interested. And this is just gonna be so that you can attach notes to it, pictures, what have you. And I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the back and then I'm gonna stick them on the center. Now I'm gonna put it on my first board, my third board, and my fifth board. So I'm gonna go through and do that, but then of course, in typical Courtney fashion, um, I will change the third board, but you'll see that in a second. And this is where I changed my mind. So I ripped off the clothespin on the third board, as you can see, and basically I'm just touching it up with some uh, chalk paint there. And then what I have is one of these little buckets that you get from Dollar Tree, it's a three pack, and I'm kind of squeezing it to get it kind of flat so that I can attach it to the board. So I, they squeeze pretty easily. I would recommend wearing gloves. Um, and then I'm just going to use this uh, purple, um, floral that I had left over from Dollar Tree from a previous DIY. And basically for each holiday, I will change out the little flowers in the um, pot. So I'm gonna fill this up and then I'm just going to attach it to that board with some hot glue.
Okay, so on the second and fourth square, I didn't show this, but I attached two small pieces of Velcro to those. And then all I'm gonna do is take the other side of the Velcro and attach a small square to these bunnies. And then voila, I will put them on for Easter. And then for each season, all I need to do is attach a Velcro square to whatever I wanna put there. And I can simply just put them on and peel them off to change it out throughout the holidays and seasons. Pardon the randomness of being outside to show you this, but it was where I could get the best light. So here it is all finished. It hangs really nicely against the wall. I absolutely love it and I can't wait to change out the little bunnies um, with each season. I'm planning to use a bunch of those little foam cutouts from Dollar Tree and then doing things to them. And I just love the little flower element. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Leave it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you so much for watching and the continued support guys. You guys are awesome. Until next time, see you later.